بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم بخیر رہ گئے اٹس می آتفہ کا سینٹر ڈے ویر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ویری امپورٹنٹ کانسیپٹ آف میکینکس اینڈ دیٹ از دا سینٹر آف ماس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس یو نو دا میکینکس آف سنگل پارٹیکلز اینڈ ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو موو ٹو میکینکس آف مینی پارٹیکل سسٹم سو وی بگن وتھ ویری سمپل کیس آف ٹو پارٹیکلز اینڈ دین وی ووڈ جنرلائز اٹ فار مینی پارٹیکلز فسٹ ان ون ڈائمینشن اینڈ دین ان تھری ڈائمینشن First of all, we would understand very basic things about the many particle systems and uh, one of them is the center of mass. Center of mass of uh, many particle systems is uh, a point uh, within that system um, which is such that uh, that moves as though all of the system's mass were concentrated there, all the external forces were applied there. If we are having a system that uh, consists of more than one particles and we want to know the dynamics of that system, we want to know the equation of motion of that system. So uh, first of all, uh, we would uh, locate its uh, center of mass. That is because uh, it is the point in that system uh, which can represent the entire system. It is that point about which you can say that all the mass is concentrated there. And uh, about that point you may know that all the external forces were applied. If, you, uh, if, if, a, system, if, if a system uh, which you are considering is in motion, that uh, it would be having some external forces uh, that would be acting on that system and we can say that uh, all those forces act on that single point which is called the center of mass. So to locate center of mass of uh, two body system is very easy. We begin with two body system and then we would generalize it to more uh, particle system, to many particle system. So uh, if you look at this diagram here, I'm having two masses, one is M1, other is M2 and uh, uh, they are separated by some distance D and uh, they are placed along the uh, x-axis, I call this axis as x-axis. One of the two is assumed to be uh, at the point that is origin of that uh, uh, reference frame. So uh, I have chosen M1 to be at zero position and then uh, M2 is at, is at uh, some distance that is D. Then the center of mass can be expressed the position of center of mass can be expressed this way m2 divided by m1 plus m2 times d and uh, if uh, m1 is 0 then uh, d is the position of center of mass then center of mass would shift to that point and if m2 is 0 then center of mass is here at center so this Simple expression gives us the position of that center of mass along that horizontal axis. And uh, uh, what is this expression about? This one is uh, for the case when we would be having uh, the same system of two particles. But this time I have shifted this along that x axis. And uh, you can ignore these uh, blue squares, we are going to discuss uh, them a bit later. But uh, if you look at the same system to which I have shifted to right side, you can see that center of mass is no doubt shifted by some amount. But at the same time, this mass and this mass, both of the masses have been shifted to the same uh, by the same uh, uh, displacement and uh, you can uh, say that shifting the axis from here to here from A to B does not change the relative position of center of mass. Center of mass is at the same position from first and from second in both the cases. The relative position of center of mass is not changed. And uh, uh, then in this case, center of mass can be, uh, can be located this way. This is the position of center of mass and uh, m1 x1 plus m2 x2. This formula gives you the center of mass. And uh, uh, here we are having m1 plus m2. So it is the total mass of the system. I can write this in more general form. 
m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by capital M that is the total mass of that system and now if we are having more particles more than two particles it is a many particle system but still I am taking the same situation uh, that all of them are along the x axis I am taking one dimensional case but many particles so uh, many particle system and uh, one dimensional case so uh, what uh, would be the position of center of mass in this case uh, in this case once again we will be having summation of all those movements we call it movement up to nth particle this time we are having more particles m1 m2 m3 m4 and up to mn and uh, in denominator we are having this time the mass of the total system and uh, it's a summation of all the masses m1 plus m2 plus m3 up to mn and uh, this way uh, we can write it in more general form and that is summation uh, i summation index from 1 to n m i x i divided by m this is the center of mass of many particle systems in one dimensional case and uh, if we are having three dimensions then for 3d let me erase this for 3d uh, you would be having uh, y of center of mass and uh, the same way uh, 1 by capital M if you take it outside that summation M i y i i is the summation index that is from 1 to n and then c of center of mass and that would be 1 by m summation i from 1 to n m i z i and uh, then uh, vector r that is the position vector of center of mass so that would be x center of mass along x axis y center of mass along y axis and z of center of mass along z axis and if you want to write in more concise way then uh, the same expression can be represented this way that is 1 by capital M summation M i r i and uh, this ri is the position vector of all those particles of any ith particle in that system uh, so it is the general form 1 to n and uh, now uh, if we are having solid bodies then uh, the situation is not like this uh, then uh, the um, the situation is continuous and we would be using the integration instead of this summation so uh, for solid uh, objects uh, let me mention it too for solid objects for solid bodies uh, we express the same like this uh, now x center of mass is uh, 1 by m integration of x over dm and uh, y center of mass we can write y dm and uh, then for z center of mass 1 by m integration of z over dm so uh, this is how uh, we can uh, specify we can locate the center of mass of many particle systems 
uh, see you in next lecture with the further mechanics of many particle systems assalamu alaikum